I'll tell you all this, cheers to the fact that I've wanted a chain like this since I was a kid. There's not a rapper on earth that didn't want a Rolex with a matching chain. Yes. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Welcome back to the channel. This week's episode features our good friend Jelly Roll, a multi-genre artist from Nashville, Tennessee, with hit singles that are played all over country and rock radio stations. His music video for Save Me now has over 100 million views on YouTube. He's here today to celebrate his recent successes. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Rock and roll, baby. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. How are you? Good, good. Hey, thank you for getting with me on Hey, no, no. Thank you for stopping by, man. Good to see you, you, see you again, baby. How are you? Yes, sir. Pleasure. Yes, sir. Jelly roll. Pleasure. Yes, sir. Good to see you, man. How are you? You actually, it's a good day to be here. We're celebrating, man. We had the most added song on country radio nice, in the country man. yesterday. Awesome. 76 awesome. stations. Of course, I love my rap clients, but. You're like a very unique artist compared to what I'm used to. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, just open it all awesome. up, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> you have so much yes, content in your music. No, real music yeah. for real people, baby. Yeah. How y'all sure. been? Busy as ever? Oh, yeah. I yeah. follow all the social medias. It looks like oh, y'all yeah. ain't slowing down. Yeah, it's like Christmas every day. Yeah. yeah. You got a good gig, too. Yeah. You pass out smiles all day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's, we're both lucky to be in a business where the more successful we are, the more smiles we're putting on yes, people's sir. faces. Yeah. I see the comments on your page. Every day, somebody's talking about, oh, you inspire me, you help me get through this, that. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. And the way that you back up your wife, I really respect. Yeah, yeah that's what property you. I remember we brought yeah. that Rolex in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. was the first purchase was first. That was the first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I came back to be selfish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, thank <laughs> Celebrate yeah. my rock radio and country yeah, radio yeah, success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're an independent artist, is that Yes, correct? sir, yes, sir. So, we we partnered with a, with a company. But yes, okay, sir. every independent artist still has other people they work with, but you have a lot more control than we a control typical our artist. Yes, exactly. Yes, Congratulations on all the success. I know you already big enough that you can get in touch with whoever you want, but my contact list is yours. So if there's oh. every, anybody you ever want to get in touch with, I'm giving you the number direct, or oh. I'm doing a group FaceTime, yes, sir. because they need to know about you. Right, right. And yeah. as humble as you can say, you got a bigger yeah. Rolodex with a lot of these labels. I right. just keep it cool with everybody. Right. Yeah, I'm going to pass out the smile and stuff. That's it, that's exactly. it. Exactly. So let me check on the jewelry cleaning, and then also we got a nice package cool. on these chains. Awesome. Did you see the video I sent you? Oh, yeah. So that was this one. OK. But we realized yeah. we need to go yellow gold, so. It actually matches the bracelet that you okay. have, so it's actually yeah. a perfect size. Jay was showing me this one, which is bigger, but I was like, you know what? If we can get him the full matching set, that'll be even better. I didn't want to put you in white gold chain when you're a yellow gold, mostly yellow yeah, gold right, guy, right, you know? Yeah. It'll even look good with these because I'm hoping it sits in between. Yeah. That's my goal yeah. on the lens, so you can layer everything. Right, layer it all the way yeah. up. Yeah, and yeah, this yeah. will make those look even better. Make them pop. Yes, yeah, sir. exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's awesome. Do you mostly work with producers that are local to you, or? Because of the way we write, it's different in our genre. We start with a guitar, so it's just me singing over guitar, rapping over guitar. And then we build the track based on the mm -hmm. sound of how we feel like it should be built out from there. You got a guitar in here? No, I wish I did. Man. I'll, say, I'll sing you something. Okay. I'll you next time I play something. You know how kids got their first grade thing and they're yeah. like, I want to be a fireman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I like, a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Like, my mother yeah. shows them to me every time I come over. Like, yeah. that's what you, what you know. Yeah. I just always wanted so to So when did you pick up a guitar? I didn't pick up a guitar until I was like in my late 20s. Really big into like the songwriting side of it. That's and awesome. What really happened to me was my mother, and I tell this story, but this is the truth. My mother struggled with like addictions and mental yeah. health issues. And she would sit at the kitchen table and listen to music. I just remember seeing like her... It was something was happening with the music that changed the way she it would was help feeling. Her a bit. And I just remember thinking at a real young age, man, I want to make people feel the way my mother feels when she listens yeah. to that. You know, and if a doctor would have helped my mother, I might have been a fucking surgeon. Yep. But it was music, I think, that helped my mother. Yeah. You know, she's a totally different person now and still a music lover and sober. That's and awesome. Doing way better. Which is why the music's so cathartic. The music's so purpose driven for yeah. me. The inspiration has to come from somewhere. Otherwise, it's not going to take you anywhere. You got a real reason to work that hard. Right, right. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Therapeutic music, baby. Real music for real people that have been through real shit. Yeah. That's, that's the goal. Baby. That's awesome. Why? <laughs> And that matches his uh, current bracelet yeah. perfectly with the width and everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect, man. That's it. Yeah. yeah that's it. All right. Y'all can do it today like you always? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Like last time. Yep. Definitely. Yeah, that was crazy how quick that came about last time. Yeah. 
Loba, come on, I want you to meet our people. This is yeah. Jonathan Loba, he's the head of nice Broken Bow Records. Broken Bow Records, okay. He won't say it about himself, but he is probably the biggest record producer in country music right now. He's the president of the label. And awesome. He's got four artists in the top 20 or 30 right now at Country wow. Radio, and that seems to be the consistent story. He is famous in the country music world for pushing squares through circles, taking guys like me, the people that don't necessarily unconventional, unconventional sh and putting them in front of conventional audiences and winning. Why well, drive on the same road? We pan outside the lines and, and get yeah. good grades. We are writing history. He is touching minds and hearts every day. You can't yeah. put a price on that. Uh, which venue did you perform at that you went in the video and you're like, man, I can't even believe I'm here tonight? Oh, the Grand Ole Opry. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. We played the Grand Ole Opry. And about how many people uh, were at the show? 4,000. Yeah, that's awesome. 4,000. Yeah, 4, yeah. We're playing Red Rock in Denver this year. It's a 10,000. It's like okay. history. You ever been to Red Rock? No, I haven't. I've been to Denver you know several yeah, times. I want y'all to catch this. Don't let him edit this out. You need to come see the Red Rock show. Okay. You need to let me bring you out as my guest. Okay. Come hang out I with us I would love to Rock. come. And I love Denver. It's top anyway. three most beautiful venues in wow. America. Yeah, and when sure. is that? Uh, it'll be late October. It's okay. on a Sunday, too. Right, listen, I October love going 23rd. to Denver. Any yeah. excuse to go to Denver is great. Yeah. Don't let them edit this, y'all. We're bringing them okay. to Denver. I'll get yeah. you to bring me another piece out there, so we'll okay. make it worth it. I love no, that he calls a 10,000 person amphitheater a small venue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs>
this new chain is quite it impressive. Is. And this is your bracelet you got from last time to go with the matching yep. chain. Yeah, that's the so price. which wrist is this going on? Yes, sir. That's right, my can you right turn your wrist baby. over? Yes, sir. Thank you. I mean, that safety latch is nice, huh? Oh, 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 this is my <laughs> moment, though, baby. I've been waiting on this. Yeah. <laughs> it's the last piece of the puzzle. Whew. Man. How'd that look on me right there, baby? Do I look it's like good. a man that's been working hard? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, baby? It's your boy Jelly Roll. I'm at the Icebox, icebox.com. If you ain't making it down to Atlanta, get you some, baby. <laughs> Told him. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Drop a like and comment below who you think should be on next.